when you like an image, when you click that heart, how does that heart turn red? And how does somebody on the other end, whoever posted this thing, how do they get a notification that you just liked it? Welcome back to the last video talking about the front end of a full stack web application. Again, this is a series for introducing you to what web applications are, how they're built for anyone that's a beginner that wants basic understanding of what a full stack web application is. We've covered what a full stack web application is. I've introduced you to the two parts of a full stack web application, the front end and the back end. And for the past couple videos, I've started talking to you about what the front end is we talked a little bit about how the front end is what your users see your pictures your buttons your forms your maps whatever your users see that is the front end bonus if you remember what do we call where your front end runs the client in last video I went in depth talked about the layout how the front end is laid out using something that we call elements components but behind the scenes, they're just what we call HTML tags. And I also talked about how when it comes to styling these elements, where you're talking about style, like color, border, margin, padding, and everything in between, we're talking about what we call CSS behind the scenes. Now, before I left last time, I gave you some homework. I told you to keep looking into what the back end of a full stop web application is, but I also gave you a prompt of, hey, when you like an image, when you click that heart, how does that heart turn red? And how does somebody on the other end, whoever posted this thing, how do they get a notification that you just liked it? Hopefully, you remember something I talked about interactivity and uh, front end being dynamic. Imagine you click that heart, which could be this icon and it turns red. That is your front end being interactive. Basically, we have a way to link our elements that are on the front end, the icon, the image, the button, the form. We have a way to link these elements, these components. We have a way to link them to some functionality that could tell them to behave differently depending on an event that could be triggered. One of these events could be a click. One of these events could be when a mouse is over this component, we might want to show a pop-up. When we're scrolling and we hit this element, we might want to do something. When the page instantly loads, we might want to do something. So behind the scenes, what's happening on the front end that gives this interactivity to our components is what we call JavaScript. I'm not even gonna talk about JavaScript really, but I want you to understand that for these elements to have some sort of behavior, some sort of interactivity, for this front end to do something, we have to tell it to do so upon some event happening. So there is an event that triggers a certain behavior. This, in Dittify, we're gonna talk about it being a workflow on the front end and you understand what this means but basically that's the same thing when we say hey when we enter a comment and we hit enter really we're saying okay now take what the user just entered and go send it somewhere and that somewhere that it's going which we're about to jump in, in the next video is the back end and then the back end processes this comment and alerts sends a notification to whoever posted this post. Again, remember, when we start talking about our page with just the elements and the styles, this thing is just static, it's not changing. But then when we add these functionalities, when we add these workflows, when we add this behavior change, now we're starting to get jazzy with this front end. Now our front end can actually change. Now our front end can behave a little differently depending on what we did. And that is a complete picture of what the front end of a full stack web application is. It's built with elements that are laid out a specific way and we have styles that basically determine how these elements look and we have some sort of functionality that allow these elements, our page, 
to be interactive and dynamic. And behind the scenes, like I said, for this interactivity and to allow our pages to be dynamic, the code that's written behind the scenes is JavaScript. Now, the next video, we're gonna switch and talk about the back end. Again, your homework, keep looking more into what is the back end of a full stack web application. Until next time, peace.